the game we cannot lose. You cannot lose, and that's ours. You cannot lose being a child of the living God. But you can lose your soul. You can't keep, we can't keep this life. We're all going to die. So Elliot says, I'm no, he is no fool that gives what he cannot keep. And give him my life, Lord, to gain what he cannot lose, being a child of the living God. Jonathan Edwards, one of my heroes, when we talk about allegiance, he says, he wrote some resolutions for his life to follow when he was a young man. The first one is this, resolution one, I will live for God. I mean, what a way, what a way to start your life. Get up in the morning and say, I'm going to live for God. The second one is even more powerful than this. Resolution two, if nobody else does, I still will. Talk about allegiance. The whole world turns against Christ, against Jesus. I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand for truth. The world needs us. It needs Jesus. And we are the salt and light. We are showing people Jesus. So they need us. To, they need us to be strong Christians. They need us to know who we are. We are believers. They need us to know whose we are. We are children of God. And they need us to stand for Him. We do it for the Father. We do it for others. You know who you are? Who's you are? And are you allegiant to Christ? If you don't know Jesus, today is the day. died on the cross for you so we can be children of God. And he rose again to prove that he is the Son of God. He is risen. He is alive. Where are you this morning? Are you a Christian but you've been wavering in your faith? Know that you are a son of God. Nothing's going to take that away. You are a child of God and it's time to realize that and act like it. Live like it. Your sins are forgiven. Don't hold on to that. Don't hold on to it. No matter what you've done in the past, what you did this morning. Maybe you haven't been in church in a long time. Maybe, maybe, you, maybe you've just been living far from God. You are a child of him. And he wants you to live fully in what he has. When Jesus said, I've come to give you life and life abundantly. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we love you.